are now very interested in examining the transition and relationship between social protection systems and now the development of infrastructure. So Ms. Mehanyan will discuss with us the role of infrastructure in gender equality. She's a managing partner and chief financial officer of Cordoba Corporation, a California-based full-service engineering construction management program firm specializing in the delivery of infrastructure projects in transportation, water, energy, and education sectors. Ms. Mehanyan serves in leadership positions for several educational institutions and nonprofit organizations. She is the vice chair of the board of trustees at Woodbury University, is a member of the Dean's Leadership Board at Cal Poly Pomona College of Engineering, and is a member of the Board of Trustees at Southwestern Law School. In addition, she is the international chairperson of All Armenia Fund Incorporated, which has raised more than $120 million for humanitarian aid and infrastructure development in Armenia. We will now show a video depicting some of the... Okay, Ms. Thank you. Thank you. We moved the seats not to take the seat of the ambassador, <laughs> but to clear the screen so you all can see the next presentation. Um, thank you, thank you for being here. And I would like to thank um, the Armenian Relief Society for organizing this event and the whole is here that every year come here and do this. We appreciate what you do. This is this is great work. And I know how much how much effort goes into this. Thank you. Thank everyone of you for this. Um, the history of infrastructure parallels that of human progress. It is as true today in the Republic of Armenia as it was when the Romans built the first aqueduct in the city of Roma in 312 BC. Armenia Fund is a global organization that partners with the Armenian diaspora to develop and implement large-scale infrastructure projects. Since its formation in 1994, it has constructed national highways, uh, major water distribution and irrigation systems, hospitals, schools, community, and service delivery centers. A significant component of the fund's contribution is allocated to agricultural projects, bringing vital assistance to the people of Armenia. Uh, according to the data from the Gates Foundation, women are often the prime engines of sustained economic growth in developing and underdeveloped nations. In the Republic of Armenia, agriculture employs approximately 45% of workforce, and almost half of these workforce are women. Farmers from small and remote villages are highly vulnerable to poverty and increasingly harsh weather conditions created by global warming, climate change. A key issue tied to women's poverty in Armenia is out-migration, as you just mentioned, due to Armenia's weak labor market and lack of <coughs> new developed infrastructure. Uh, some, about 40,000 Armenian working age men migrate annually for seasonal labor to Russia and beyond. Remittances made up 18% of gross domestic product in 2014. 40% of Armenians rely on this transfer as their basic income. While traveling through the border villages of Armenia, one cannot miss the absence of working age men in the fields, in the community centers, in the social life. With men gone, women, and children stay behind and work to secure household income to pay for basic necessities. We have learned firsthand that specific infrastructure programs targeted to women have large multiplier effect that ripples across economies. And I want to tell you about this incredible encounter. <coughs> I want to give you some good news. Uh, meet Karine Mugrachian in the village of Pachartsa in northern Armenia. Four years ago, Armenia Fund built a 100 square feet, uh, 100 square meter greenhouse for her to grow car car crops year round. She's now the most successful farmer in Pachartsa. No one harvests more cucumbers per year than Garine. <laughs> 
a ton or more annually that she that she so, uh, she provides to the suppliers and resellers. Just the cucumbers' income allowed her to make a living. So the Armenia Fund has since built nine more greenhouses in the area in Khatratsan. Almost every one of them is managed by women and sustained by women. We know more greenhouses means more wealth in the villages and improved lives for girls and young women. As the agricultural economy boomed in Babush this past decade <coughs> with newly constructed irrigation systems and these greenhouses, <coughs> Armenian Fund built schools for a growing population of children and young women in the region. We know that the digital divide is not just a problem of rich and poor nations, it's a gender issue. Most of four billion people currently offline are in poor rural areas of the world are women and girls. If young girls in Armenia are going to grow up to be successful young women, they need tools to compete in the digital global world and economy. Armenia Fund equipped every school in Davush with modern information technology connected to internet. If we plan and build accordingly, the daughters of the farmers will become <coughs> the future leaders of Armenia and beyond. And I would like to leave you with a thought from Eleanor Roosevelt. Women know that life must go on and the needs of, the li of life must be met. And it is their courage and their determination which time and time again have pulled us through. I would like now to watch a little video for all of you that is a testament to the same. The Tabush region is a major source of water for Armenia. However, a decade ago, farmland was often dry due to lack of irrigation technology. Without the ability to farm, residents fled to make a living elsewhere. Women and children were often left behind. To remedy the situation, the Armenia Fund built wells, canals, and vital irrigation systems to supply water to farmland and villages throughout the region. Today, most of the farmland in the area is connected to the newly built irrigation network. In these fields, water is stored in local reservoirs and distributed to crops through drip irrigation systems. Agricultural yields have greatly increased in the past decade, and incomes and employment have risen steadily across the region. In the town of Ditivan, 90% of the land is now being farmed, up from 25% just a decade ago. What was once brown is now green with abundance. The construction of greenhouses has greatly improved the lives of women in Armenia. Each greenhouse built by the Armenia Fund is 100 square meters in size and is equipped with an irrigation system. Greenhouses allow for farming year-round, despite climate, providing bountiful harvests that can be sold in the marketplace. A single productive greenhouse can provide a living to a village household and is creating a new class of women entrepreneurs. Success builds upon success. With the advent of water technology and distribution, local incomes and employment have grown with rising agricultural production. Armenia Fund has built new schools to cater to the growing population of school-aged children. These schools offer a world-class education to young women. Armenia Fund installed network computer systems to all 72 schools in the Tabush province. 7,000 students in the region now have access to modern information technology. To quote a school principal in Tabush, as we live in a digital age, computers and the internet are just as important as air and water is to crops. 
every step of infrastructure development and implementation is a bright new chapter for women in Armenia. 